parties. So, so I would you, urge them to reconsider. I would line? urge them how to reconsider. I, I will absolutely be taking us into a general election and into the Scottish election in 2026. Thanks, Colin. Thank you. And they spent most of the day insulting every opposition party in the parliament, which, when you don't have the votes to protect your own first ministership, seems a, a very poor strategy indeed. So I think things look pretty bleak for Hamza Yusuf at the present moment. It's finished. His time is over. Uh, Alexander's right. He will be known as Hamza the Brief. And um, he's just proved not up to the job. He was never the sharpest pencil in the box. Let me tell you about the colour white. The snowman, white. Santa Claus's beard, white. Every petal on a daisy, white. The milk from cows, white. My favourite wine, white. Clouds in the sky, white. The white cliffs of Dover, white. Michelangelo statue of David, white. Every time I ejaculate, white. The big house the president lives in, white. The paper I use to script my hate speech, white. Not just my pubes, but my ass hair, white. The toothpaste I use, white. The poet Robert Burns and Braveheart himself, William Wallace, white. Almost every Scot that has contributed to Scotland's rich history, heritage, and culture, white. The Scottish voters I am trying to shame, white. 95% of the Scottish population report their ethnicity as white. That is not good enough. I will absolutely be taking us into a general election and then into the Scottish election in 2026. Unfortunately, in ending the Butte House Agreement in the manner that I did, I clearly underestimated the level of hurt and upset that caused Green Cox. For a minority government to be able to govern effectively and efficiently, trust when working with the opposition is clearly fundamental. And while a route through this week's motion of no confidence was absolutely possible, I am not willing to trade my values and principles or do deals with whomever simply for retaining power. Therefore, after spending the weekend reflecting on what is best for my party, for the government and for the country I lead, I've concluded that repairing our relationship across the political divide can only be done with someone else at the helm. I have therefore informed the SNP's National Secretary of my intention to stand down as party leader and ask that she commence as a leadership contest for my replacement as soon as possible. <laughs>